on the build show today, we're in Whistler, British Columbia, checking out this awesome high, high performance home. We're here with Sean from 475 Building Products. Sean's gonna show us through uh, some of the high performance details in this house. But first, let's just admire the setting that we're in right now. This house backs onto countless, countless acres of mountains, ski terrain, just forest, creeks, nature, you name it. It's all here and it's right in their backyard. Yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. This is an incredible spot to have a high performance home. You see the cold, you see the snow on the ground. In the middle of winter, like we are right now, this is this house is going to be toasty warm on the inside, despite all the glazing you see. Yeah. So, Sean, why don't you just quickly talk us through what your role is on this project? So, in this particular case, I helped out the panel manufacturer with some materials, uh, helping out this crew to making yeah. sure that they're tying in the air tightness strategy. Um, and so, you can see here, it's you know, it's beautifully gift wrapped. Yep. It's got a nice sweater on it, nice and thick to keep the people inside comfortable mm -hmm. at uh, a great temperature and be able to enjoy this beautiful setting. And it looks like they're just starting to put in glazing today. They've got the frames going in. The envelope looks like it's pretty well buttoned up on the exterior. Yeah, the HVAC is putting in the, uh, you know, the fresh air machine that's going to keep the yep. indoor air quality really nice yep. uh, during all the seasons, even the, the smoke season that we have now in BC. That's right. So uh, a lot of great things that are, uh, we'll be able to go through and look at all the fun details. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, one aspect of high performance is dealing with thermal bridge. Yeah. Here's a really cool detail. You got, you know, snow is making the ground cold. That coldness is going into the concrete. That's then being transferred into the steel post. And in yeah. our homes, we don't want that cold to come in. And so we got to deal with the detail to make sure that it's nicely insulated to stop that cold from getting into that master bedroom. You know, yeah. again, we don't want people walking on that floor and feeling the cold. So there's mm -hmm. got to be a way to over insulate that detail to keep the cold out and the heat in over insulating a specific area. Yeah, we can see underneath here that they've got the structure that came with the panels yeah. and then they've built down an extra layer. Not only will that help out for electrical and, and hiding some of the plumbing that's there, but it's gonna be able to give some more insulation around this steel to ensure that that cold is staying out that, you know, through this whole connection. So from a building science perspective, it's safe to say that this is a, this is a challenging area. It's a very and, challenging area because yeah. you've got a lot of complex structural and, and design aspects that are kind of fighting against the building signs. Yeah. But we take a step back, we look at the challenge, figure out, you know, what is the best way to, 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 to deal with it. And in this case, it's looking at adding more insulation. So we're here at the front corner of the house. Uh, this specific corner has a lot to look at, starting with the foundation, ICF foundation with a, with a waterproofing layer and a water drainage layer using the Delta MS product. Sean, take it from here, take us, yeah. take us up the wall. Right, so we'll, when we first look at a building, we wanna make sure that it's always staying dry, keeping the water out. And of course, we're in Whistler, lots of rain, lots of snow. You can see that you've got a really good material that's gonna get shingled properly to ensure that we've got you know, the water is going to be able to stay out. You yep. talked about a great mat down here, great gravel, water staying in this house. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the next layer of air tightness. So now we've got our WRB, which again is keeping the water out, but this material is also acting as our air barrier. Yes. So it's our Mento 1000 from Proclima that 475 supplies, and um, it'll be brought back up and taped to make sure that we've got the continuity of the air barrier. So in this case, we've got the air barrier at the foundation and the air barrier to the wall. Really critical detail. We kind of have like four main areas of, of critical parts of air tightness. We've got foundation to wall, wall to window, uh, wall to roof, and then yeah. dealing with all the plumbing and electrical penetration. So what, what tapes are they, are they using specifically here for these different joints? Yep, so again, the, this lovely blue tape here, the Tescon Vanna will be used uh, everywhere on the outside um, because it does a fantastic job of being vapor open and creating a really good seal. Mm -hmm. What I love about this wall, again, we're in NBC, lots of moisture, we've got a rain screen, and so from a prefabrication standpoint, this was done in the factory, so the wood that's in this wall is dry, it's Forever. never seen you know, any moisture, it's great. Um, what I love about this wall as well, and we're gonna dive into it from the interior side, but right now, this wall is drying to the outside. All the layers are creating that vapor openness. So we've got drying all the way to the outside. Exactly. And if we want to come around, you can see 
the window detail of how the windows are going in and you can see the process here of how they're aligning it all to make sure that they've got structure to tie in the cladding yeah. and be able to all come all come together. So tag tag provides us continuous strapping already. Yep. And the and the window detailing. So these guys have the next step on windows is basically what they're doing today, which is installing the frames. Yeah, so installing the frames, putting the glass, and then we can talk about our tightness. So in this case, the air tightness, we have two layers. We're gonna have the interior layer and yeah. we also have the WRV that can also act as an air barrier. So it's really kind of the whole belts and suspenders approach to things. Mm -hmm. When we look at our tightness though, it can get a little bit complicated and that's why it's great to get on site to see where is it happening. Because the air tightness is gonna be here. It's actually gonna go in the wall. Uh, tape is then gonna get connected to the inside of the window. Yeah. The air tightness is flowing here, all the way there and continues on. So it's really great to be able to you know, align things and show people how things need to flow. Can't always do it on a 2D drawing. You get on site and start talking with the trades of how do we make those connections. Absolutely. As we're going in, you can see you know, the blue lines, that's where the panels are. So they, this whole panel came together, okay. that panel. I mean, I'm a kid at heart, this is just Lego. Right, yep. just beautiful, you know, bunch of carpenters hanging out together, playing with Lego. Yes, it's a, a beautiful home and there's some details here, but it's really cool to see Lego piece, Lego piece, Lego piece, Lego piece. And yeah. within, you know, a few days, it, the whole thing came together. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. Stacking bricks. Yep. So we're upstairs now and Sean's gonna walk us through a few, few other details. There's a lot going on here in this uh, really nice hallway that leads across the front of the home. What do we have? Well, I thought we'd get started because we're inside the house yeah. and we see plywood. Typically, plywood's on the outside, but this is, this is the whole kind of cool story of how we're talking about thicker walls, making sure that they're vapor open, and, let's, and talking about you know, the plywood now. Yes, it's the structure. It's also the vapor control layer and the air barrier. So it can dry outwards through this plywood. Yes, yeah, so this whole wall, again, from a sustainability standpoint, uh, low upfront uh, embodied carbon, because yeah. we've got a wood fiber on the outside, plywood here, fill of cellulose. It can, br it can, sorry, it can dry mm -hmm. in both directions. I almost got caught. We always get confused about, hey, the house needs to breathe. The, Drying and breathing the, are different. Exactly, yeah. the house needs to breathe through really good ventilation systems, but we need them to dry. Yeah. So what we have here is the plywood is taped, and so we can look about these connections of how is the air barrier connections through this whole thing. So the plywood's the air barrier, it's now taped from the, uh, the membrane. So what's nice about even this wall, you've got an interior air barrier and an exterior air barrier. Yeah. And making sure that, again, this, this wall is not gonna have a lot of moisture issues. Yeah. So by having it, this system is any moisture, and again, we've got moisture in the space because we all like which temperature in our homes? Warm. Yeah, warm, yeah. 21 degrees. Yeah. But with that, has about 40 to 60% relative humidity. That is some moisture in the air. Yeah. So that this is now keeping the moisture out and keeping our walls nice and dry. So the wall is doing kind of three main parts of the Passive House principles, right? So lots of insulation, good air tightness. Uh, the material out there is causing a thermal break. And so again, yep. keeping it all nice and tight. Another aspect is high performing windows. So we're great to be on the job site today. They're installing the frames, glass comes next week. Windows play a very important role. Uh, typically in the past, windows have been the worst part of the house. Yes. Now when we get into triple pane windows, the glass is really good. The critical point becomes right here. Taping and it to the rest of the envelope. It, stopping the airflow through, but also looking at insulation levels. Yep. So it's great where we before, this whole thing used to be bad. Mm -hmm. Now this point is bad. We get into the window details here where any water that gets below the window can go out. It also continues the air tightness layer because it'll go window, tape, to the tape, to the wood, to tape, to the wood, down to ground. And so you can just see how these details really come to play very nicely. This is a thicker tape, right? Yes, yeah. so this is again our, the extra steel encores, it's the window sill tape. Again, butyl base on top, you can see actually with a little bit of moisture there how it gets wicked away. Mm -hmm. uh, again, but the acrylic connection to the wood, it's a stretchy product. I really like it because you don't have to worry about a primer, you literally put it on, bend it in the corners, get it nice and tight, yep. and you're uh, off you to the races. You stretch it on the outside corner and it stretches out. It's it, European product very much high performing and you know really bomb proof in, in this process. One of my favorite products to, to play around with with, with trades.
Fantastic. Let's, let's look at this span and yes. this opening here. So we look at this great detail here. You've got you know beautiful sp span. Yeah. That span comes with some structural components. Yeah. The metal piece here, again, it's wrapped in wood, but you've got a lot of connection pieces that's had to come through. And so what they've had to do is in those connections is put a service cavity in front of it to make sure that, that they can get um, the you know the drywall and the finishing details to, yeah. to wrap around it. So yeah. you can see here even now down below, the service cavity is built off from that sweater detail. They can run their electrical, um, but it's not penetrating the air barrier. Nothing's penetrating so that plywood. All the electrical, the plumbing can be whatever, yeah. and it's not affecting the air barrier. So What's nice about this detail too, if say if they need to do a renovation in a few years, you're not affecting this. Yeah. So just th pulling back these. Exactly. That air tightness layer that is being done now mm -hmm. will be effective, you know, down the road. Mm -hmm. There's also a there's also a huge cavity above this beam, right? So from top down thermal bridging, you're 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 safe here. There's a there's a like but you got like 18 inches above that beam for insulation. Absolutely, at least. yeah. Yeah. So you, again, really deep trusses, they can put a lot of cellulose into that space and fill it all up and make sure that that steel beam stays warm and that it doesn't allow any cold temperatures to get into the space. I just want to mention, Sean, how, how awesome it is that um, suppliers like yourself are so involved in these projects. You know, I met you at, at BCIT when I did the uh, Passive House Tradesperson course. I think it was back in 2018. <laughs> yeah. But I was, I was so blown away and just impressed by not only yourself, but some of the other suppliers that were actually instructors in those courses. Yeah. Um, just really getting invested in the, in the concept of, of uh, high performance construction and just talking about using their products as a tool towards being successful in a high performance build and not so much being there and selling your product. You were there just really talking with the nuts and bolts of the entire vision. Um, and I just really appreciated that. So thank you for being here today and just showing us, you know, when it all comes together. Yeah, it comes together, yeah. yeah. I mean, BCIT is fantastic because the instructor is a team as well. I mean, we collaborate on a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, but then out of the industry, we still have to educate. And so, yes, we're providing product, but most of the time we're just teaching builders how to build better, talk about those five passwords principles, how it works, you know, out in the field. Yeah. Um, sometimes in a class, 2D drawings, yeah. you, you don't really get a sense of it. You get out here and you see different challenging aspects of how you gotta fight through it to get everything to connect. Yeah, and you can get here eventually. It takes. Yep. It seems like it's gonna take forever from those first initial drawings and details and conceptual stuff, but here we are and uh, it's, it's being all put to the test and it's just awesome. So thank you very much for being here. Wow, what an awesome job site this is. Thank you so much to Kia Kaha Construction for letting us come tour today. Thank you to Stark Architecture tag panels and of course the 475 building products for showing us around today and showing us some details. This is just another example of how we can utilize high performance panelized construction. Uh, they're doing it so well here and uh, I'm really looking forward to showing you more about this on future episodes.